work to it right now. You'll see a lot of the construction work on Now, are all the senators and representatives off? Shortly after 9 a.m., Fort Drum Commanding General Mark Milley made his way to the Capitol. He and about 70 of his soldiers were in Albany to be honored by the state Senate. May 23, 2012, now officially 10th Mountain Division and Fort Drum Day here in New York State. To have the New York Senate uh, uh, honor us on this day and have it 10th Mountain Day throughout the state of New York is a tremendous, uh, real distinct honor and recognition. The day began with General Milley and Senator Patty Ritchie touring an exhibit of various 10th Mountain and Fort Drum equipment, photos and facts. It was put together by the soldiers themselves. We try to uh, bring a lot of uh, soldiers from who, who, are, who are born and raised in New York, native New Yorkers, uh, but among them are some real heroes. There's several awards of valor out here, Purple Hearts. They did a great job in representing the division here in the Capitol. And after checking out the exhibit, taking a tour and getting some breakfast, the Major General did something that hardly any non-elected official ever gets to do, speak on the Senate floor. The Colored Guard started it off. Ritchie helped proclaim the day, and the General took over. Very important that you, the representatives of the people, maintain close contact with we, the people's army. We've always fought for the people of America. We've come from the people of America, and we defend the people of America. And it's important that the representatives of the people uh, are linked in and know the army for which uh, they raise and maintain. After a lengthy applause, the Senate paused for about 10 minutes, senators wanting to shake hands and take pictures. I think it was important to showcase for all my colleagues, especially the ones from the city, how important the 10th Mountain Division, though it may be in the North Country, how important it is to New York State, how important it is to the whole country. And more than a few senators said they are amazed by the service and sacrifice that's claimed nearly 300 10th Mountain lives since 9-11 and wounded some 6,000 more. At the Capitol in Albany, Brian Dwyer, YNN.